the shaky winning directors of the movie imitating a RoboCup soccer player using case-based reasoning are proud to present case-based imitation a sequel meet our software agent it's trying to play Tetris but as you can see it's not having much success the problem is that it doesn't know anything about Tetris it's going to need to start learning if it has any hopes of playing this game well if the agent doesn't know anything about Tetris how will it learn to play the agent is going to observe someone playing Tetris and learn that way but if someone knows how to play Tetris why don't they just program the agent there are two main reasons why not first the person may not have the time they need to program and test the agent which would likely take much more time than simply demonstrating the behavior secondly the person would need to have knowledge of computer programming which not everyone has you may be wondering how exactly the agent will observe the expert the agent uses case-based reasoning and makes use of the assumption that similar problems tend to have similar solutions in Tetris the problem is the state of the board and the current piece it needs to place the solution to the problem is how the agent moves and rotates that piece together these problem solution pairs are called cases and can be automatically generated by observing how the expert behaves in response to each encountered problem after collecting a number of cases called a case base the agent can then play Tetris by itself when it encounters an input problem it can search the case base for a similar case and reuse the solution from that case let's see how the agent does after observing the expert the first thing we notice is that it's actually moving and rotating the pieces which is definitely an improvement over what we watched earlier in fact it actually seems to be doing a pretty good job it's placing the pieces well and even completing a few lines not too bad for an agent that doesn't know any of the rules or the goals of Tetris so the agent can play Tetris now but what else can it do as we saw earlier when using a case base generated by observing a Tetris expert our agent was able to learn to play Tetris but is our agent only suited for Tetris no it's not when we place the agent in a new domain like simulated soccer space combat or a physical robot we just need to exchange the Tetris case base for a case base suited for that domain the key point is that we do not need to make any change to how the agent reasons or provide it with any domain knowledge we are simply changing the data it reasons with let's have a look at the agent playing simulated soccer the red team is made up of the original agents and the blue team is made up of the imitators as you can see it is difficult to tell them apart in these soccer cases the input problems are what the agent can currently see in its field of vision and the solutions are the soccer specific actions like dashing turning and kicking and here is our agent in a space combat game the agent it's imitating turns until it can see another ship and then shoots at that ship like the previous demos the agent seems to be doing a fairly good job imitating this behavior so far we've only described simulated domains so now we will look at our agent controlling a physical robot in this clip our agent is imitating the behavior of an obstacle avoidance robot instead of high level inputs like we saw previously the agent only receives inputs from its various sensors it can then control its wheels to keep itself away from the various obstacles and encounters since all of the information the agent has is contained in its case base we can even use the case bases to transfer knowledge between different domains for example if the agent observed a behavior in the robot domain we can convert that case base so the agent can perform the behavior in the soccer domain we just need to perform a mapping between both the inputs and the outputs of the two domains this clip shows the agent in the soccer domain using the obstacle avoidance case base we saw earlier as you can see the agent is avoiding the soccer balls likewise we can transfer an object tracking behavior from the soccer domain to the robot domain now instead of avoiding obstacles the robot is moving towards them let's look back at the agent playing Tetris earlier we showed that after observing the expert the agent was able to play fairly well however we didn't show you everything if we watch the video a little further we see that things start to go wrong the problem is once the agent makes a few mistakes it ends up with a board configuration that is significantly different from anything that it has seen before the expert is smart enough not to put itself in these situations so no matter how long the expert was observed it would never encounter certain problems luckily our agent is not shy and is willing to ask for help when needed when it is unable to find a similar case it asks the expert to solve the problem and can then add that solution as a new case in its case base using this interactive tutoring approach the agent is able to learn things it would not have been able to with observation alone this is the end but if you have any questions or comments we'd love to hear from you